welcome to school of civil engineering as we have uh, completed a single footing design series and uh, this is its last and third part so uh, already we have completed two parts of our single footing design because uh, I'm divided that in different parts called because our video are being lengthy that's why I'm doing that so first of all and if you're new here you can watch our previous that lecture the link are given in description so first of all we'll open our estate foundation advanced connect edition upgrade one and uh, it's open and also you can download that if you have no that if you have no software about estate foundation advanced so first of all I will open our previous model by clicking here open folder so here our YT single footing you know that we have saved here so this is our model okay this is our model so after that I'll go first so we have completed here isolated footing job design parameter and mm, cover and soil footing geometry uh, co we have completed till cover and soil now we'll go in, in footing and geometry footing geometry so what will be our dimension and size of our footing minimum maximum like that uh, or um, how we'll design that we'll design for fixed area or we'll design for approximate area we have to give at that value okay so I will I will just move it here okay so from here if we see design type from here we have to select calculate dimension set dimension fixed width fixed length suppose if you have a fixed length I mean if you have fixed place for length but you can consider your width so we have to give here for fixed length okay then for fixed width you can give here for fixed width and calculate dimension so if we uh, provide every data it will just calculate its dimension okay so minimum length how will be the minimum length we can change our unit it's in feet so minimum length feet you have to give here minimum length how will be the minimum length of your let it in inch no problem so minimum length what will be the minimum length of your footing you can give here suppose it will be minimum length will be uh, four feet sorry four feet means four into twelve forty eight they have provided forty it's okay and uh, minimum width forty minimum thickness here is the minimum thickness what will be the minimum thickness of your foundation has the minimum length sorry maximum length here is the maximum length has the maximum width maximum thickness plan dimension plan dimension thickness increment thickness increment what will be the thickness increment two inch pattern two inch then here is the important two thing offset x direction or x offset x direction and offset z direction suppose <laughs> if you're seeing that figure if you're seeing that figure it, it this it, you will find that figure in below here below our that parameters suppose we have a square shape of foundation and our column are center then our OX and OZ will be zero because they have no eccentricity okay but suppose you have the offset I mean our column are eccentric our column are eccentric on our footing then we have to give here I mean how distance 
away our column R. So you have to give her ODX. So from 0 to, I mean, um, what will be the distance from our 0, 0 point? I mean, our middle point of our foundation. For right, it will be positive OXD. And for left, it will be positive negative OXD. And same as for Z direction. Okay? So you can change that according to requirement. After that, and here you can give length width ratio. What will be the length width ratio of your foundation? If you provide here 1, if you provide here 1, then it will be a, a square shape. It will be a square shape, okay? Because uh, it will consider a square shape of foundation. And if you can give here the value 0 0.5, then it will give you a rectangle shape. I mean, if our length are 1, then our width will be 5. Sorry, our length, if our length are 10 feet, then our width will be 5 feet, like that. So I'll give her 1. You can give, you can change that. And from here, set as default, yes. After that, we have to go here, sliding and overturning. You can give her value according to recordment. Coefficient of friction, you can give her friction, friction. Then factor of safety against sliding and factor of safety against overturning has the coefficient of friction that is the factor of safety against over uh, sliding and factor of safety against overturning 1.5 1.5 you can increase or decrease that okay that's not fact and our coefficient of friction 0 0.5 so we have done everything that required for our design we have done everything in our that three parts so now we'll go for our final work here design and analysis design and analysis so click here design and analysis so after that here if we decrease that if we decrease that so here you are seeing that this is the elevation this is the height of our foundation and this is the ground level height from our top okay so this is the dimension this is the dimension of our foundation um, or estate foundation considered 5.5 feet from center I mean 11 feet into 11 feet foundation so if we go down if we go down this is the moment if we go down again down down again down this is thi they have a very beneficial thing that it will show you about the every take every design procedure that how they have do that okay so this is the flexural about flexural about z axis so it's showing it's okay i mean it's showing first of all if we go top share calculation punching share check punch for punching share check if you go down it's showing it's okay then share plane parallel to global axis it's also showing okay and on a share it's also showing okay then it's showing us 17 bar number 6 17 bar number 6 17 bar in parallel to x and if we go down here also 17 bar 17 bar in number 6 bar and bar number is 17 it's parallel to z so if we go down here is our plan this is a plan so we are showing from here top for top any not applicable for our top they have no requirement of bar for plan elevation okay this for plan this for plan this for elevation okay so we'll show it in our that option detail and scarily schedule drawing details and schedule drawing so from here if 
I increase that. So if I zoom that, so here is our dimension. I mean footing dimension. Okay, this is the uh, geometric area plan. And here are elevation section. This is the section of elevation. And here is our plan. Here is our plan. This is the uh, reinforcement. And if we go for schedule drawing, here we are showing that it's showing. This is the reinforcement from our column. This is the reinforcement for our, I mean our directional reinforcement, bottom reinforcement, and this is the reinforcement or top reinforcement. Okay. And here, A to Z area of E still. So if we go here, foundation and reinforcement, A X T A Z T means top so it's not showing any value cards because they have no bar available in top oh, I mean no requirement and for bottom here requirement 6 into 18 6 inch into 18 and here 6 inch at the rate of 18 center to center distance it will be 18 number 6 bar 18 center to center distance and for footing this is the length this is the height and this is for this is for depth this is for depth and what will be the depth if i calculate that 0 0.33 and to 12 4 inch so uh, 2 feet 4 inch or depth depth of foundation will be 2 feet 4 inch okay so like that way we can design our foundation so from here and also you can input that value here detailed output or also you can save drawing save drawing as first of all we can save that drawing save drawing as AutoCAD so you can save that file in AutoCAD uh, as AutoCAD version then you can edit or do anything from there okay and in our first video I have shown you that how we'll add our pedestrian so if I show you about that uh, if I go ahead geometry so pedestrian and anchor bolt so if we need any pedestrian we'll increase that so here it's showing is it required any pedestrian yes here you are showing that it's showing a pedestrian and from here you have to give here pedestrian height what will be the pedestrian height one feet i'm considering that our pedestrian height is one feet and pedestrian length what will be the pedestrian length two feet two feet i'm giving here one feet 1.5 feet also giving here 1.5 feet okay 1.5 feet into 1.5 feet then if we again run our analysis click here so if we run analysis you are showing that now it's showing here 1 feet pedestrian 1 feet pedestrian okay here it's showing 1 feet pedestrian now if we go for design in our bottom then it's showing now 22 5 bar and here is a design passed in share this, this, the, this is the diagram for our pedestrian here it's showing the number 3 bar and 20 number 3 bar and 20 bar are for our I mean our main longitudinal bar number 3 20 bar 
and here number 10 9 into center to center number 10 9 into center to center uh, tie bar so we can change that it's showing 10 so if we go here go to enforcement at concrete so here pedestal tie bar size what will be the pedestal type tie bar size suppose if we consider it will be 4 and maximum bar size and minimum bar size uh, it will be 4 and it will be yes then again go for analysis then if we go here if we if we go down now see that um, they have number four seven inch number four tie bar and seven inch center to center and uh, number five sixteen main bar so and if we go from here schedule also we can see that here 16 5 bar and from here 2 4 inch tie bar here from here 2 tie bar that in that direction that in that direction and 4 tie bar number 4 tie bar in 7 inch center to center ok so like that way we can design our single footing single column I mean our pedestrian so if you have any problem about single footing or isolated footing design then you can comment me below or you can contact me through our mail so thank you thank you very much and your next video I will try to discuss about combined footing so as well as connected till next video and if you're new here you can press the like button or you can give a comment so that I can understand the, that videos really helpful for you okay that will inspire me to do better in future so thank you thank you very much